Yahoo News, 24th of February 2023, Beijing after discussing freedom of expression, a communist official in Hong Kong issues a warning to the U.S. envoy. Since the Chinese Communist Party has taken control of Hong Kong, it should be regarded as one nation. According to the Hong Kong Office of the Foreign Ministry, a Chinese official met with the General of the United States Consulate in Hong Kong and cautioned him not to cross any red lines to denounce what China called his inappropriate interference in the affairs of the territory. Last month, Consul General Gregory May delivered a video speech in which he expressed worry about Hong Kong's dwindling freedoms and stressed the importance of upholding the rule of law and international norms for the city's business district. The Hong Kong Office of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs reported that its Commissioner Lu Guangyuan recently met with May to voice opposition to his words and actions. Lu also drew three red lines for the U.S. Consul General and U.S. Consulate General in Hong Kong, which are not to endanger China's national security, not to engage in political infiltration in Hong Kong, and not to slander or damage Hong Kong's development prospects. According to the office, Lu also encouraged May to uphold diplomatic etiquette. The American consulate did not quickly answer a comment inquiry in Hong Kong. May also reference a Chinese legislative decision that permits Hong Kong's executive branch to decide whether foreign attorneys can be involved in national security cases in the city in his speech to the U.S. Center for Strategic and International Studies. The choice was made after the city's highest court-authorized pro-democracy publisher Jimmy Lai to retain a British attorney to defend him against collusion allegations that could result in a life term if he is found guilty. When May questioned the Beijing court's ruling and other changes to Hong Kong's governance, Liu's office charged him with disparaging Hong Kong's rule of law and independence. The former British colony, which returned to China in 1997 with a pledge from Beijing to maintain Western-style liberties within a one-country, two-system structure, has come under fire from the US and other democracies for China's crackdown on political freedoms. Several issues, including technology and trade, human rights, threats against Taiwan, and China's claims in the South China Sea, have caused relations between Beijing and Washington to reach their lowest point in years. Hong Kong is one of these problems.